why is big data in healthcare emerging now? Uh, really three reasons. The first one is availability. We have so much more captured machine-readable data available today than we only had in providers five to ten years ago. The second reason is it's much easier and cheaper to, to link these data. Today we can just link data sets from multiple formats and sources, etc., make sense of them, link them in a high-quality way with relatively low-cost computational efforts. Uh, the third thing is a, a big imperative, which is to understand population health better. But the minute we understand everybody's health, we can really understand chronic disease patterns, predict who's going to get sick, which is very, very important for healthcare outcomes and economic reasons. Well, there are, in the near term, three major opportunities. Uh, the first one is simply understanding better who is going to get sick and prevent their health events from occurring, like in chronic diseases. And by just predicting which event will occur in a patient in a certain population and then uh, contacting the patient and, and doing something about it before it occurs is the first big opportunity. The second one is linking up the health system in a, in a, around the patient. So when, uh, in, in, for example, in cancer and other diseases, uh, up to 10 different caregivers need to work, collaborate on a particular patient. And with technology, the, the linking up of systems is, is much more efficient. The third one is uh, the holy grail, which is really understanding value. So when you take an entire health system and understand, for example, we are spending two billion for diabetes care in a certain part of the UK, and where exactly do we spend this on, from, from prevention to, to uh, end-of-life care, and how do we move this around so that outcomes get better and savings occur? Uh, that's the third big opportunity. These are the kind of near-term opportunities that are here and now. The long-term opportunity is to change medicine altogether. Medicine today is essentially an art which relies on um, heuristic judgment by highly skilled professionals which are distributed around the world um, and who are engaging in interactions with patients. Uh, you could imagine a future in which a half, maybe two-thirds of, of diseases are well characterized and understood and where sensors and other things are in your body, uh, where you can essentially with high precision analyze what is actually going on in the body. You could imagine a world in which you stand in, in, the, in the front of the mirror in the morning and the mirror tells you essentially what's, what's right, what's wrong. <music> Healthcare players really need to think about their capabilities for this area, the first, a number of things. The first one is just capturing this data. So, and it is, uh, so far, healthcare players are used to capture clinical transaction and payment data, but link that with um, consumer behavior data, link that with uh, genomic data, link that with you know, behavioral data, and maybe even environmental data, to really make sense and, and predict uh, what's going to happen with a patient and the population. Now, just managing that uh, and, and storing the, the data in a proper way and, and, and managing uh, these data sets is, is a completely new skill. Second one is analytics. So how do we make sense of all this data? What kind of techniques uh, and, and banks of techniques do we apply to make sense of this uh, in, a, in an efficient manner? Third one is trying to, trying to really understand the consumer. Uh, as we are linking more and more behavioral data and consumer data in, uh, what can we learn from other industries? Fourth one is um, uh, health economics and, and, and value analysis. You know, th one of the things we are trying to do with these data is, is to really find the opportunities to improve you know, um, health outcomes for meaningful investments. Where, where can we invest on the margin uh, to get better outcomes? Where can we save money? And the final one is really clinical leadership. Um, the, uh, Nothing in healthcare gets done without clinicians. Uh, doctors are absolutely in the core uh, of delivering healthcare. They need to be inspired by this. They need to think about how they want to take and create these new models, how they want to work with data, how they want to use data to improve their patients' outcomes and improve their own systems. <laughs>